Okay, so I just went to the concierge desk and picked up our ledger that shows us everything we've spent this week. Um, I told you earlier this week that we did not get the dining plan this time. We typically get it free. They didn't have the deal at this, this time in our trip. And so we opted not to get the dining plan and take an alternate route. I also mentioned that we had some snacks shipped here from Walmart. We spent about $45 on those. I added that to what I've spent this week and I spent about $290. Um, that's what we spent on all our meals, everything. We've still got some more to go, so I'm going to go ahead and round it up to, let's say, $340. I don't think we're even going to spend that much tomorrow. Our snacks have really come in handy having them here. Um, but, spent about $340. Had I bought the cheapest dining plan they have, it would have been $500. So, as you can see, I saved about $160. Um, honestly, the thing we observed with the dining plan is... Even if you did eat, let's say you snacked or ate a light breakfast and ate two meals in the park, two quick serves, um, you still might come out ahead not doing the dining plan. When you do the dining plan, with each meal you get the meal itself, you get a snack, and you get a dessert. We don't typically eat a dessert with every meal, so that's not something we would buy on its own. So if you do, if you are used to eating big meals, the dining plan may be your best option, but if you're not, it would probably be cheaper not to do the dining plan. It definitely was in our situation. We saved a significant amount of money by not doing the dining plan. Ready?